Howdy YouTubers, out here in the cold rainy day, it's like a little over 40 degrees, it's 50 in here in the hoop house, I had the heater going a little bit before but I don't want to waste my propane because I got to run it tonight, they're saying maybe 2 inches of snow and it might be in the high 20s so we're going to run the heater on low just to keep it above freezing, I mean most of these plants I got in here except for these tomatoes they can deal with a little bit of the cold but anyway i'm out here checking the ph in my soil because this soil came from a different location and it's a compost that's he said he compost down leaves and wood chips and stuff and some other stuff it looks really good but i wanted to check the ph and make sure that i'm uh not putting all this effort in for nothing so I checked it with these, I mean, these things are not 100% accurate. It was saying I was at 6'6". Six, six. If that's true, that's beautiful. I mean, you can be, I doubt it's exactly 6'6", six, six, but in that range, that's great. If you're a little over 6, a little under 7, even 6 to 7, you're, you're pretty good. I mean, you probably ain't going to have any problems. But 6'5 is ideal. Now, why is it ideal? I copied a chart off of the internet and I'm going to show you why it's ideal. Now this is a chart, a pH chart. It goes from 0 to 14, 7 is neutral. 6.5 is what you always hear. Oh, you want to keep the pH at 6.5. So well, why do you want to keep the pH at 6.5? Well, this is why. These are all the minerals that a plant pulls up through the roots, right? If the pH is not right, a lot of these minerals get locked up in the soil and the plant can't take it. It's sitting there, it's saying, here I am, but the plant can't take it up because the pH is not right. Now, if you look at 6.5 where the ideal spot is and you look go down the line, you see that it can grab all of these minerals, no problem. If you start going down, let's say 6, phosphorus starts dropping off if you even go down let's say if your soil was at five it's hardly going to pull any up same thing with potassium six is okay five five starts dropping off sulfur same thing starts dropping off calcium same thing dropping off and if you go the other way you go on alkaline you can see mostly all these are okay but if you start getting like in the 8 range, you go down to iron, drops off, drops off, boron drops off, copper zinc. That's why they say blueberries, for instance. They like a lot of iron. You know, so this chart, this is why pH should be somewhere in this zone. I would say 6 a little six to seven is okay i mean the phosphorus drops off a little bit at six but you can always add a little bit of that if you see a problem in the plants and that's it i mean if you can stay in that range you're great but you know soils most soils are going to be in that range i don't it's very rare that you're going to be way out of whack i mean you can be very alkaline if you're taking soil out of a boggy area that doesn't drain well you're probably going to get a lot of sodiums in there because it's not draining out and stuff like that. So I would stay away from that type of soil. So that's about it. I mean, just get your little meter and check it just to be sure. I mean, you're going to put all this work in and uh, and then your plants are not going to do good. You know? <laughs> and people tell me, man, I keep fertilizing and fertilizing and fertilizing. Yeah, you know, all that fertilizer is sitting there, but the plant can't pull it up. Because the pH is not right. All right, YouTube. Let me get back to work. Take it easy.